question all the time. You keep, you keep referring to running people's words down their throats. Are you using that as motivation to your players? I don't need to. As against the I don't need to do that. You seem to be irritated still by no, what people have said from past months. I'm not irritated, young man. But you you, can, to it a you lot couldn't irritate me if you tried. You really? No, you couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a go. I've been doing yeah, yeah, I. I you have you have to um, you have to weigh up things. You know, obviously, any footballer will have his head turned by the club the size of Aston Villa. You know, everything about the place is being well loved, well nurtured, and looked after by Doug Ellis, and he's done a brilliant job. And you know, obviously, it's, it's but but it's more than that. For me, it's more than that. It's about respect, and we've got to earn that right. We could have been a laughing stock. I don't think we are. I think we're trying to play decent football. I think that suits the people we have. The system suits them. It worked well last night in our youth game. First time we've ever. A bit fortunate, to be honest. They missed two penalties, um, and one of them kicked our boardings in, which is not nice. Um, but you know, as foot things go, what Birmingham must pay on their academy setup, and we're just the centre of excellence. So it's it's nice, but. People got to realise, and players got to realise that it's not just them. This is not just me. This is all of us. We're all doing this together, and I don't. I don't think it's going to stop. I think it's going to get stronger and it's going to get better. And and that <clears throat> annoyance you say I've got, I haven't. I think it is a determined, uh, a determination in me to actually make sure that some of the things that are very easily put down because that's what you're paid to do, and opinions that are written down, they seem to last a lot longer. So when when we were only going to get the worst team ever, that was what I read. They're bound to be the worst team ever. Yeah, we've probably got the worst budget ever, but because if you've got a spirit in you and you've got some quality in you, then you can prove that. And it, it's not a, a, a nasty, burning thing. It's just something that you can keep referring to, to refocus yourself and keep going. And, and all I've ever said, and I'll go back to Charlie again, is the fact that when he first came here, his, his eyebrows raised because I said, I'm, we're going to get in the Premier League and, and you're going to help me get there. And if, if we don't get there quick enough, then you'll go with my blessing. And, and I think you can play in the top four teams in our country, not Scotland, in your country, in, in, in our country. And I don't know whether you believe me or not, but I still believe that's the case. And, and life's about timing. And at the minute, I don't believe the time is right, simply down to the fact that there's been no sort of anything like an offer that might have tempted us. So there's no deal, is there? And that's not nasty. And in the meantime, we're going to carry on. I think he'll get better and better by playing it. Hopefully he'll keep his cool, because if he don't, we won't be messed with. And, you know, that he doesn't need to do that. Why does he need to lose his dignity? I don't think he needs to. You know, so that's where we are. And it's not a burning thing. We're just going to try and keep going and improve ourselves, our families, the club, everybody to deal with the club to keep moving forward. And, and you know, I'm absolutely delighted that everybody in this neck of the woods is talking about one of my players because that's what I hope for him. 